so hi students today we are discussing uh, a new topic called uh, normal distribution so this comes in the first module that is a syllabus in your syllabus so the special distributions are that in that one one of the continuous random variable distribution is normal distribution or gaussian distribution things we are going to discuss today so our objective is to revise what we have studied so far and the probability density function for uh, normal distribution and also we have to discuss about cumulative distribution function then what is the mean and variance of uh, normal distribution and also we will discuss some problems based on normal distribution so coming to revision we have so far seen that the mean of a random variable is given by mu x or it is called expectation of x will be summation over k x k p x of x k so we have denoted it as f x of x k so it can be denoted either probability of x k or f x of x k when x is a discrete it will be summation when x is continuous it will be minus infinity to t infinity x f x of x d x and the variance of a random variable is sigma x square is represented where of x expectation of x minus expectation of x whole square or the other notation is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square so for discrete it will be x minus mu x p of x summation over k and for continuous it will be integral minus infinity to infinity x minus mu x whole square f x of x dx so these are the things we have studied and we have discussed the different distributions such as Bernoulli distribution, exponential distribution, uniform distribution, etc. Now today we will discuss about the normal distribution or Gaussian distribution. So the probability density function, first we are going to discuss about that. So the probability distribution, the PDF distri density function is given by for normal distribution as fx of x is equal to 1 by root 2 pi sigma which is the amplitude and it varies exponentially minus x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square now the terms uh, you know sigma is a uh, standard deviation sigma square is variance and mu is mean so in this problem mean and variance will be given uh, and we have to find the distribution now normally it is represented as n of mu comma sigma square uh, so normal distribution of with the mean will be given and uh, variance will be given so we know that most of the naturally occurring phenomena which uh, represents most of the things in mean uh, nearer to mean and it uh, decreases as you move away from the mean or if you see all the natural phenomena so all those things can be approximated to normal distribution and you can predict the values naturally occ occurring random phenomena now if the mean is 0 and the variance is 1 it is n of 0 comma 1 and it is called a standard normal distribution so we will discuss about this one in earlier chapters so here we will just uh, see how to find the cumulative distribution function and thereby solve the problems so we know that cumulative distribution function fx of x uh, is uh, minus infinity to x fx of x dx uh, capital fx of x is uh, minus infinity to x small fx of x dx so if you substitute for fx of x we know that fx of x for gaussian is 1 by root 2 pi sigma e raised to minus x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square so in order to avoid these con confusions between x here and here I am using different notation for x that is alpha so alpha minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square instead of dx I am using d alpha now that will be uh, 1 by root 2 pi sigma these all things are constants here only the variable is alpha and d alpha uh, so which I can take outside is 1 by root 2 pi sigma so this is uh, uh, integral now in order to simplify this one we have to see about the distribution how it comes now if you plot the graph oh, that is it is having 1 by root 2 pi sigma as the magnitude and it uh, distributes with the uh, sigma as uh, uh, vari uh, variance uh, and the center of that one will be at uh, uh, the uh, 
Let me uh, center is at mu and it distributed uh, across. Now, if you want to bring this graph to the center to mean as zero and uh, make it narrower, we have to do two things. The x should be subtracted with the mu so that it should be shifted towards zero and it should be divided by sigma so that <coughs> the mean becomes a zero which becomes a no standard normal distribution now from this to this conversion the operation required is x should be shifted and scaled x minus mu divided by sigma now i am calling that as a new variable z z now if I shift x, I have to do the same operation for alpha also because instead of x, I have used alpha there. So alpha minus mu, same operation, alpha minus mu divided by sigma. And I am calling that as a new term beta. Now if you find d beta, that will be 1 by sigma because uh, you have to find the derivative here, d alpha. This will be constant, so 0. So here divided by sigma. Uh, so d beta is equal to 1 by sigma d alpha and uh, d alpha will be sigma times d beta so if you substitute those things in the expression so fx of x will be 1 by root 2 pi sigma minus infinity to x was there so i am scaling x to x minus mu by sigma e raised to alpha minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square so I am taking all those square terms together so alpha minus mu whole square uh, by sigma whole square by 2 d alpha now alpha minus mu by sigma was beta and uh, d alpha was sigma d beta so if you I substitute those things here so it will be 1 by root 2 pi sigma minus infinity to x minus mu by sigma is z uh, e raised to minus beta square by 2 sigma d beta sigma sigma will cancel and our fx of x will be a function of purely z uh, phi of z because i have to integrate from minus infinity to z 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to z e raised to minus beta square by 2 d beta now fx of x is phi of x minus mu by sigma phi of minus z is equal to 1 minus phi of z so we'll see why this is this expression is very important so whenever we want to calculate fx of x we have to convert x to z by finding x minus mu by sigma remember this one this is very important fx of x is phi of z where z is calculated from x by x minus mu by sigma take the value of x subtract the mean divide by standard deviation now if it is negative i have to use another expression now coming to the mean we know that mean is mu and variance is sigma square it will be already given in the question so no need of especially finding those values now so how to find that one if the uh, expression is given so uh, fx of z is now phi of z fx of x is now phi of z so it will be minus infinity to e raised to i have used beta square here it is eta now so uh, phi of z is minus infinity so from the negative side to this point uh, we have to integrate so integration is nothing but the area so what happens here uh, when i want a negative so if I want uh, area up to negative point I cannot uh, this values will be given in a table F for z what is the value of this integral but that table consists only positive values so from the table I cannot find the neg value for negative z so but we can derive from the graph itself if you see here it is from my minus infinity to z means this part of the area so that is actually the uh, since this is symmetrical this part is and this part are similar the area the under this curve is similar to area under this curve now this is more than z less than z means it will be phi of z so this area we know as phi of z where z is positive so this area will be total area minus phi of z uh, so that will be 1 minus phi of z so we'll understand this one while doing the problem so 
see this problem a production line manufactures 1000 ohm resistor that have 10 percentage tolerance let x denote the resistance of a resistor assuming that x is a normal random variable means it can take any value with the mean 1000 and variance 2500 find the probability that a resistor picked at random will be rejected so what and all things are given here resistor is given 1000 ohm that is x and uh, mu equal to 1000 mean is given sigma square is given as i said in normal distribution problems mu and sigma will be sigma square will be given what we want is mu and sigma so sigma will be uh, root of sigma square that will be 50 now it is mentioned that the tolerance of the resistance is 10 percentage now 10 percentage means 10 by 100 of 1000 that will be 100 ohm now what do you mean by tolerance the resistor can take a value less plus or minus 100 so it will be 1000 plus or minus 100 means it can take the value between 900 to 1100 ohms if any value less than 900 means it will be rejected any value greater than 1000 100 it will be rejected so so r is rejected if x less than 900 or x is greater than 1000 so here it is a or operation means union you have to add the probabilities so probability of rejection is probability of x less than 900 plus probability of x greater than 1100 so what we have to find is fx of 900 plus 1 minus fx of 1100 because greater than 100, 1100 is 1 minus that value. So how to find fx of 900? I said uh, fx of x cannot be uh, calculated directly. Instead we have to convert x to z then we have to find the value from phi of z. Now if you see fx of 900 um, that will be so 900 is x. So x minus mu by sigma phi of x minus mu by sigma. So x is 900, mu is 1000, sigma is 50. So you will get 9 minus 100, that is minus 100 by 50 is will be minus 2. So phi of minus 2. I said phi of minus 2 cannot be calculated directly. So I have to use 1 minus phi of 2 uh, according to the equation. So similarly fx of 1100 will be 1100 minus mu by sigma. So that will be 100 by 50, that will be phi of 2. Now, what is phi of minus 2 and what is phi of 2? Phi of minus 2 is obviously 1 minus phi of 2 and phi of 2 will be. So, how to calculate this one? So, we have a table which I have shared it to you to take a print out the table of normal distribution. So, phi of 2 is when z is equal to 2. If you see here, z is 2 is here. So, 2.00 actually 2 means 2.000 up to 3 decimal or uh, 2 decimal points. So, 0. 0, 0.00 comes here and the value will be 0 0.9772 so once this value is obtained so what we have to do you have to apply this one in the problem so probability of distribution will be fx of 900 that is 1 minus phi of 2 plus uh, 1 minus fx of 1100 that is 1 minus phi of 2 2 times 1 minus phi of 2 will be 0 0.045 so you can try this one this one uh, in your so uh, students please note down this uh, no th theory and problem in your notebook and also uh, there will be a quiz given in the next section which will be a theoretical quiz simple quiz please at attend that also attempt that also and this is about the normal distribution in the next class we will see about poisson and uh, laplace distribution thank you